Welcome to our deep dive into the mysterious world of the ocean's depths. Here, sunlight fades and pressure mounts, creating a realm where life has adapted in extraordinary ways. Today, we're uncovering the top 10 deep sea creatures you've probably never seen before. Prepare to be astonished by the remarkable resilience and bizarre beauty of these denizens of the deep hidden beneath the waves. Our journey begins with the vampire squid, a creature whose name belies its gentle nature. Found in the inky depths, this cephalopod is not a bloodsucker at all. Its dark, webbed arms, often held over its head, resemble a vampire's cloak, hence the name. But fear not, this creature survives on a diet of marine snow, a delicate rain of organic debris that falls from the surface. The vampire squid's most mesmerizing feature is its bioluminescence. It can produce its own light, a dazzling display of blue orbs that adorn its arms and the tips of its tentacles. This light show is used to confuse predators, giving the vampire squid time to disappear into the darkness. Unlike its shallow water relatives, the vampire squid lacks an ink sac. It has no need for such defenses in the lightless depths, instead it can expel a sticky bioluminescent mucus, a dazzling distraction that allows it to fade into the black abyss. The vampire squid, a master of its environment, reminds us that there is still much to learn about the deep sea. Its unique adaptations and otherworldly beauty are a testament to the power of evolution in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges. Our next encounter takes us to the abyssal plains, vast stretches of the ocean floor where we meet the charming Dumbo octopus. Named for its ear-like fins that resemble the beloved Disney character, this cephalopod is a master of deep-sea ballet. The Dumbo octopus hovers gracefully above the seabed, its fins gently propelling it through the water. It uses its webbed arms to steer and to crawl along the ocean floor in search of food. This slow, deliberate movement is perfectly suited to its environment, where food is scarce and conserving energy is crucial. This octopus feeds on small invertebrates, carefully plucking them from the sediment with its sensitive arms. Its large, expressive eyes, unusual for a deep-sea creature, may help it to spot prey in the dimly lit depths. Dumbo octopuses are solitary creatures, only coming together to mate. The female lays her eggs on hard surfaces, such as rocks or coral skeletons, and then guards them until they hatch. Their unique appearance, coupled with their graceful movements, makes the Dumbo octopus a captivating sight. They are a reminder that even in the most extreme environments, life finds a way to thrive. Our exploration now takes us into the realm of the anglerfish, a creature whose hunting strategy is as ingenious as it is bizarre. In the pitch black depths, finding a meal can be a daunting task. The anglerfish, however, has evolved a remarkable adaptation to overcome this challenge. Protruding from its head is a long, thin appendage called an elysium. At the end of the elysium dangles a fleshy growth known as an esker, which acts like a fishing lure. The esker is bioluminescent, emitting an eerie glow that attracts unsuspecting prey. The anglerfish is a master of disguise, its dark, mottled skin blending seamlessly with the surrounding environment. It lies in wait, perfectly still, its glowing lure the only indication of its presence. When a curious fish ventures too close, the anglerfish strikes with lightning speed, its cavernous jaws snapping shut on its prey. Interestingly, it is only the female anglerfish that possesses the bioluminescent lure. The male, much smaller in size, is often little more than a parasitic appendage attaching himself to the female and fusing with her body. The anglerfish, with its otherworldly appearance and cunning hunting strategy, is a testament to the incredible diversity of life that exists in the deep sea. Chapter 4. The Giant Isopod, a scavenger of the deep. Our journey now takes us to the ocean floor where we encounter the giant isopod, a creature that seems straight out of a science fiction film. These crustaceans are giants of their kind, dwarfing their terrestrial relatives, the pill bugs found in our gardens. Giant isopods are scavengers feasting on the carcasses of dead marine animals that sink to the ocean floor. Their keen sense of smell allows them to detect these fallen feasts from miles away. Once they locate a carcass, they swarm over it, their powerful jaws tearing through flesh and bone. These creatures are remarkably well adapted to life in the deep, 
Their hard exoskeletons protect them from predators and the immense pressure of the deep sea. They are also incredibly resilient, able to survive for months without food. While their appearance may be unsettling to some, giant isopods play a vital role in the deep sea ecosystem. They are the cleanup crew of the abyssal plains, breaking down organic matter and recycling nutrients back into the food web. Chapter 5. The Goblin Shark, a living fossil. Our exploration now takes us back in time as we encounter the Goblin Shark, a creature so ancient it is often referred to as a living fossil. This elusive shark inhabits deep waters around the world, rarely venturing into depths shallower than 330 feet. The goblin shark's most striking feature is its elongated snout, which protrudes from its head like a flattened blade. This snout is covered in sensory organs called ampullae of Lorenzini, which allow the shark to detect the faint electrical fields emitted by its prey in the darkness. When a goblin shark senses a meal nearby, its jaws shoot forward with incredible speed and force, impaling its prey on needle-like teeth. This jaw-thrusting mechanism, unique to goblin sharks, is a testament to their evolutionary lineage. Little is known about the goblin shark's reproductive habits. Scientists believe they give birth to live young, but the details remain a mystery. Encounters with this deep-sea dweller are so rare that much of its life cycle remains shrouded in secrecy. The goblin shark, with its prehistoric appearance and bizarre adaptations, is a reminder that the deep sea is a realm of ancient lineages and evolutionary marvels. Chapter 6. The Deep Sea Dragonfish, a master of light and darkness. Our descent into the abyss continues as we encounter the deep sea dragonfish, a creature whose appearance is as fearsome as its name suggests. This predator lurks in the bathypelagic zone a realm of perpetual darkness and crushing pressure. The deep-sea dragonfish is equipped with an arsenal of adaptations for survival in this unforgiving environment. Like many deep-sea creatures, it is bioluminescent, possessing light-producing organs called photophores that run along its body. These photophores emit a faint blue-green glow, which the dragonfish uses to attract prey and communicate with potential mates. But the dragonfish's most remarkable adaptation is its ability to produce red light. Most deep sea creatures are unable to see red light, rendering the dragonfish invisible to its prey. This gives the dragonfish a significant advantage in the hunt, allowing it to stalk its prey undetected. The dragonfish's large, fang-like teeth are perfectly designed for snagging prey in the darkness. Once it has captured its meal, the dragonfish swallows it whole, its distensible stomach allowing it to consume creatures larger than itself. The deep-sea dragonfish, with its bioluminescent weaponry and predatory prowess, is a testament to the ingenuity of evolution in the face of extreme conditions. Our journey now takes us to hydrothermal vents, underwater geysers that spew superheated water rich in minerals. It is here we encounter the Yeti Crab, a creature named for its furry claws that resemble the mythical Himalayan beast. The Yeti Crab's fur is actually a dense covering of seti, hair-like structures that are home to colonies of bacteria. These bacteria are chemosynthetic, meaning they convert chemicals from the hydrothermal vents into energy. The Yeti Crab uses its comb-like mouthparts to harvest these bacteria, providing it with a constant food source. This symbiotic relationship between the Yeti crab and its bacteria is a remarkable example of adaptation to an extreme environment. The hydrothermal vents provide the bacteria with the chemicals they need to survive, while the bacteria provide the Yeti crab with a readily available food source. The discovery of the Yeti crab in 2005 was a major scientific breakthrough. It demonstrated that life could thrive in environments once thought to be too harsh to support it. The Yeti crab is a testament to the incredible resilience of life and the boundless possibilities of evolution. Chapter 8. The Frilled Shark, a Serpent of the Deep. Our exploration takes us further into the depths where we encounter the frilled shark, a creature whose primitive features and serpentine body have earned it the nickname Living Fossil. This elusive shark inhabits the lower continental slopes and upper regions of the abyssal plains. The frilled shark's most striking feature is its elongated body, which resembles that of an eel more than a shark. Its gill slits, six on each side, are fringed with frilly appendages, giving the shark its name. 
These frills may help to filter food from the water or play a role in respiration. The frilled shark's teeth are equally remarkable. Arranged in rows, each tooth has three cusps, giving them a tri-pointed appearance. These teeth are perfectly designed for snagging and holding onto slippery prey, such as squid and fish. The frilled shark's reproductive habits are poorly understood. Scientists believe they are oviviparous, meaning the eggs develop and hatch inside the mother's body. However, much about their life cycle remains a mystery. The frilled shark, with its ancient lineage and serpentine form, is a reminder that the deep sea is a haven for creatures that have changed little over millions of years. Chapter 9. The Barrel Eye Fish, a fish with X-ray vision? Our journey takes a fascinating turn as we encounter the Barrel Eye Fish, a creature whose unique head anatomy has captivated scientists and the public alike. This deep-sea dweller is a testament to the incredible diversity of life found in the ocean's depths. The Barrel Eye Fish is named for its barrel-shaped, tubular eyes that are constantly pointed upwards towards the surface. These eyes are incredibly sensitive to light allowing the fish to detect the faint silhouettes of prey in the dimly lit depths. But the most remarkable feature of the barrel eye fish is its transparent head. The fish's eyes are actually housed inside this fluid-filled dome, and they can rotate freely within it, giving the fish a wide field of vision. This allows the barrel eye fish to scan the water above for prey without moving its body. Scientists believe that the barrel eye fish's transparent head may also help it to detect bioluminescent flashes from prey. The dome could act as a lens, focusing the light onto the fish's sensitive eyes. The barrel eye fish, with its transparent head and upward pointing eyes, is a testament to the incredible adaptations that have evolved in the deep sea. It is a reminder that we have only just begun to scratch the surface of understanding the mysteries of the ocean depths. Chapter 10. The Sea Pig, a vacuum cleaner of the deep. Our final encounter takes us to the abyssal plains, where we meet the sea pig, a creature whose unusual appearance has earned it a place in the hearts of internet users worldwide. But don't let their whimsical appearance fool you, these creatures play a vital role in the deep sea ecosystem. Sea pigs are a type of sea cucumber related to starfish and sea urchins. Their translucent, pinkish bodies are covered in tube feet, which they use to move across the ocean floor. These tube feet are also sensitive to touch and smell, helping the sea pig to locate food in the darkness. Sea pigs are deposit feeders, meaning they ingest sediment and extract nutrients from it. They use their tube feet to shovel sediment into their mouths, where it is passed through their digestive system. Sea pigs are particularly fond of eating organic matter found in the sediment, such as dead plankton and fecal pellets. While the diet may not sound appetizing, sea pigs play a crucial role in recycling nutrients in the deep sea. By consuming and processing sediment, they help to release nutrients back into the water column, where they can be used by other organisms. The sea pig, with its unusual appearance and important ecological role, is a fitting end to our journey through the deep sea. It is a reminder that even the strangest creatures can play a vital role in maintaining the health of our planet. Thanks for joining us on this journey to the ocean's depths. We've only just begun to scratch the surface of the incredible diversity and wonder that exists in this hidden world. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more fascinating content. The ocean's depths still hold countless mysteries and we can't wait to share them with you.